For these storyboard tumblers, I am starting with a 12 ounce storyboard, or some people call them snow globe tumblers. I got mine from the Stainless Depot Company. Um, these are like child size tumblers. I am taping off the bottom. Why? I don't know. You don't really have to do that. I don't know why I taped off the bottom. And I'm also taping off the top stainless steel rim. And I'm going to be working with just that middle stainless steel piece. So you want to make sure it's prepped by sanding. And then I spritzed it with some rubbing alcohol and then gave it a good wipe down just to make sure that it was free of debris. Okay, so the next step is to spray paint. If you choose to spray paint, I'm doing a blue spray paint. And then I'm going to put a layer of epoxy mixed with blue glitter right over the top. And then one more coat of epoxy just to make sure it's nice and sealed and smooth before I um, apply the plastic cover the plastic lid and snap that back over the top of the stainless steel inserts. So here's what they look like off the turner. I cleaned up the bottom, took off that excess spray paint with um, uh, acetone. Now I'm going to squeeze a generous amount of thin viscosity epoxy just to make sure it moves nicely and flows smoothly right into the lips of those tumblers and then I'm going to snap and when I say snap you got to snap hard you're going to hear it click 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 until it's all snapped and sealed all around the bottom and put your body weight on it so that you have a nice even um, amount of space when you look down over the top and then check on all sides just to make sure that it's not um, crooked otherwise it's not going to seal so I'm snapping those lids on and now I let those sit overnight until they were dry at least 24 hours and now I'm mixing some half glycerin with half water and you want to mix it until the little stringy appearance is gone just like when you're mixing parts A and B of your epoxy and then I pour half of the amount of the mixture in and then put chunky glitter you always want to use chunky glitter because the the other glitter chunks up and it doesn't move around I messed up two tumblers last year trying to use glitter that wasn't chunky so then you want to seal that you want to bring the liquid up to just the top of that metal um, insert and then you're going to seal it very carefully not squishing it so that water pours out but you want to seal it very carefully with some um, waterproof i use bathroom clear um, like bathroom caulking and you seal first I put a strip around the metal base just to make sure that the water doesn't squeeze out and then I continue around the sides and then I'll use a um, a what, popsicle stick to smooth out the sealant just to make sure that all the spaces are covered and there isn't any water coming out and then twist on the lid nice and tight and let that sit so I let these sit for about mm, for about 48 almost 48 hours about a day and a half is how long i let these sit before i started messing with them and flipping them upside down to see what it looks like i wanted to make sure i didn't speed up this process um i i want you to see exactly how i apply the caulking and then how i use the popsicle sticks to level it out and then put the lid back on because i know this is a question a lot of people have um because these are kind of tricky to make so I've made them a few different ways and I had leaks and so this is the only way that I found to make them where they don't leak. If anybody has a better option, please let me know because you know, I'm always up to try new things and and I know that you know this is not the perfect way to make them, but this is the way that works for me right now. I watched a YouTube video last year where a lady actually popped off um, the metal piece of that bottom lid and removed the plastic insert by putting the lid in the freezer, loosening it up and then popping it off and then she, there's a little hole in there that she put the liquid into and I could never get that darn plastic insert from that lid to break away from the metal piece so I that just created a lot more frustration so this is option number two so that first way if you can remove that plastic piece from the bottom lid that would probably be um, you know the best option to make sure that you don't have any air bubbles and make sure everything's nice and sealed if I could possibly find that video that I just mentioned, I will definitely uh, link it below to give um, her credit. I have no idea what her name is. I don't even know what the video was. Um, it's when I was first making tumblers. And so if I can stumble upon it one more time, I, I will definitely search and then link her below so you can check out her video too.
All right, here is the reveal. This is the fun part. And because I flipped them upside down and sealed it with the caulking and got all, like there isn't any air. Well, there's there might be a little bubble here and there, but there is aren't any big air bubbles because I have as much water in there as I could possibly fit. So I love the way the chunky glitter rolls around. It's like in slow motion and it just looks super cool. I love making these. Okay, the next step is to sand. I am not gonna tape off the stainless steel. I know some people like to do that. I wanna spray paint and uh, color the entire cup top to bottom. So when I sand, just to make sure that my epoxy doesn't repel, I have to get in there really tight in those um, little cracks because I have had issues before where the epoxy repelled right off that line that separates the stainless steel from the plastic because I didn't sand it good enough. So I'm gonna sand really, really, really good all around there and I'm even gonna put a layer of quick coat over the top of it just to make sure that I have everything sealed and uh, the epoxy doesn't repel. Okay, so using my Cricut design space, I typed in patriotic, I typed in 4th of July, stars, and these are images that popped up that caught my eye. And so I just printed these onto stencil vinyl. So if you have Cricut design space, just go type in those words and you'll have a lot of options that pop up for you. I'm gonna apply these randomly around the tumblers until I like the spacing. Um, I don't want too many areas covered up just a little bit because I'm gonna spray paint right over those um, stencils and then remove those later. So I'm gonna spray paint one of these diagonal with a red, white, and blue, and the other one's gonna be white in the center and red um, ombre on the top and bottom. So after spray painting, I looked at my tumblers and I thought that I really loved the appearance of just the spray paint. And I thought that adding the glitter would kind of take away from that. When you pull off the peekaboo stars, you have all that pretty glitter underneath. And I thought that was a cool uh, contrast um, with the just the plain spray paint with the pretty glitter on the bottom. So I just left it as is, pulled off my peekaboos, and I'm going to put a layer of epoxy over the top of these. And then I can start applying my vinyl um, decals or uh, my water slides. Okay, so after the layer of epoxy, it's time to apply the vinyl decals. You guys, I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. I don't like this cup right here that I'm working on. I made it too busy. So I sometimes a busy cup is really a good look. Um, and sometimes, when it's too busy, it kind of takes away from the purpose of the tumbler. And this one, I wanted to make it a cutesy, kind of girly, American sweetheart. You know, I added a heart and the heart kind of took away from, I don't know, I, I just don't, I'm not in love with it. And then to top it off, the layer of epoxy I put over this after I had the decals on, um, I pulled it off the turner and it was still tacky. And so then I had my fingerprints in it and then, so I, I mixed the epoxy wrong so it didn't cure correctly. So I had my fingerprint in it and then it, I accidentally touched it to my sweatshirt and then fuzzies got all over it. So that cup, that cup is gonna be 100% experimental and I'm just gonna have to be okay with not being okay with it. So moving on to my favorite cup. I am very happy with this one. The way the ombres, white, the ombre white and red turned out, the um, stars that I chose, the water slides, this one turned out really cool. So I'm using the foil water slide method. Um, I'll try to find a video and link that below. I don't, I've, I found it on Instagram, so I don't know if I can find a video, but I will give it a go. And then um, and then you just put one more layer of epoxy and your tumbler should be complete. So I'll show this spinning on the turner after the coat of epoxy, and then I'll show the final products.
So here they are under a layer of epoxy and you can see the reflection of the foil. It looks so pretty when the light hits it. So I am in love with that technique. Here's the blue one. My camera went dead, so I couldn't show me recording, uh, applying that blue one, but there's the blue star. And this next tumbler is the one that has the mess ups with this, my fuzzy stuck to the bottom of it. <laughs> whatever it's okay it's gonna be fine um, my American sweetheart I also use the foil technique but I ran it through my laminator too many times and it gave it kind of a rustic look which I really liked until I applied it to my tumbler and then you could definitely see the rectangular shapes and that I don't like but it is what it is and it's it's gonna be okay here are my finished tumblers. I hope that this video has encouraged you to give storyboard tumblers a try. They're really very fun and have endless possibilities. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and leaving comments. I appreciate you all. Please turn on your notification bell so you can find out when I post my next videos.